Okay, I'm gonna get the paper. Go ahead. Okay, beautiful people. Okay, beautiful people. Maybe Lee Myers is gonna be doing my own thing of sharing with the world the extent of discrimination and how London Early Years Foundation is getting protection from the judiciary of england and wales and the criminal justice system and the crown prosecution service and all the other legal entities to cover up why there is this headline in the daily express today then you're going to know my links with the daily express yeah, so today is the day I'm putting enough information out there. If you look, you'll see my surrounding has been changed somewhat in line with my moving on from the years of being on the cycle of grief. Yeah, I'll always, because that's, this kept me going throughout the years from the time my brother died. Walford Byron Alberni Nemhard, age 56. His birthday is coming up on the 3rd. And all that has ensued since. Russell Grand Copyright Daily Express tour us. Today is just a day that I'm going to be doing this. It's like an obsession for me until I get this because I'm getting rid of clutter. Starting the new year, as I'm meant to go on. And as I said, the nails were so brittle, I used to have. So it's, I have to be so careful. So I'm working my way back. Russell Grand Copyright Daily Express told us. Someone in need will provide you with a chance to pay back a favor they did for you in the past. This is also a great excuse to pull out of arrangements you hadn't been keen on. Studying a subject for pleasure could open new doors for you. I'm gonna put Vaseline on my lip. And I'm using my, most of the materials I'm using is from my ears of whatever. So it says, guilty. Persecutor says justice has been done as Prince Andrew's friend is convicted of sex trafficking. Guilty of evil. Ghislaine Maxwell faces life behind bars yeah there are more people who need to face life behind bars yeah you're only welcome here on my platform if it's not pornography i don't do pornography so make sure you understand right i love to use my little write-ups they like memory joggers for me discrimination of Marvel myers by hmcts cps cjs hmpps mopac j ico etal 
number one. And I'll read what I put there as memory joggers. Miscarriages of justice, reviews of E.T., unlawful arrest. David Lamy, review, participant in research. Sodok, women's space, poem. Apology to Delian Atkinson. Taser, meeting at Sodok Police Station. And I'm going to start off with some records. Yeah, 2009. I'm going to use my voice a lot, but I also want you to have imprints because soon I'm chucking all these out. Yeah, too much clutter. And on the back, yeah, Joan O'Sullivan wants to be remembered as a disruptive influence, referred to psychopath, meaning a person, N, person afflicted with a personality disorder, causing him or her to commit antisocial or violent acts. Yeah? See the top? Westminster Children's Society. That's where I saw I started it. That's where I, I signed the contract. Okay? When I went for the interview, 8th of May, 2009, I'd already planned my going home and what was happening to me at the workplace. Alev Sagnan told me about the job. Yeah? So I'm not going to read, read, read. I need to save my voice and everything. I'm just... Hi, Popsy. I'm here again. Yeah? I'm here again because I need to get this done. And in light of what's in the news, yesterday or the day before Google removed my post because I, I'm... Put the word pedophile in it i have the evidence to say fact check yeah so let's keep the fire rolling in honors of though in honor of those who are affected like you and i and then by keeping that fire blare burning that flame burning in honor of frankie we can get more people to open up there are lots of people out there keeping quiet in fear of reprisal. But I've been through it. I've been to that door and back. And now they think they have me under a cush. They don't. Yeah? I'm doing that. I'm doing what I'm doing for those people who do not have a voice. Yeah? And for those people who have been murdered molested and getting away with it and i make no bones in naming juna sullivan and richard harty so like giselle uh, maxwell who was collecting children for men juna sullivan was collecting children for richard harty men in child care i done their voice of a child research yeah so let's share and share and share. Yeah? So this is when I started with Minster Children's Society. And as I said, I'm getting the rid of the rubbish clutter. Yeah? So let me put that there. How did I find out about Juna Sullivan wants to be remembered as a disruptive influence online? She made a video. Are they silly or what? right so this is the contract i signed and i'm gonna go to signatory the date i signed
7th of the 10th, 2009. And they signed the 17th of the 9th, 09. This contract was not updated in line with the Equality Act 2010. So this is it. I'm going to chuck. I have all the copies. So I'm just going to use and chuck out. Yeah? And rid myself of whatever. So I'm putting it on. I'm putting it. Yeah? I'm putting it. So you see. The contract I signed. Because I'm, I'm just getting rid of the clutter. So I'm going way back now to 2006. I won't be throwing this out. I'm keeping this. I'm going to need it for further podcast. It's not only men who are pedophiles. They have some prolific women who are beside the men who do these things right so here we are yeah because this this doctor failed refused to give me a medical report after the, the nhs got to him so here it says i'm not gonna waste my whatever it's all out there up close and personal There we are. Okay. Tuesday, 8 July, 18 July 2006. The reason I got this, I do not have a medical diagnosis for Parkinson's. So I cannot get a medical report. Yeah. My father and my uncle had it. Need to hear anything else? Yeah. So this is. I no longer have this account because the second time Barclays done what they did, closed my account, it's at the Ombudsman. So there are some information I'm not reading. I'm not chucking this one out anyway. I'm keeping it. Yes, some of them are. Some of them are just as evil. Yeah, some of them are worse than the men. Yeah. So I'm, I'm putting things. I'm not going to read everything. There it is. What's there? So why didn't the court see these things? Yeah? See from when? Arnold Ebenezer Tomlinson. His address is not registered down to my address. Yeah? So that's why Richard Hart is going to get it. For his atrocious act. So take this bit in. I'm not reading anymore. I've read it so much. And I need to save my voice and my energy and whatever. Yeah? What's there? You know I don't have the best handwriting now. That's why I always ask for ICT to do my work. This was done 13th of April. 10. 2010. Right. So this one. Second of the fourth, 2014, that, that was after I came back from all that happened, my son's wedding, hearing mom's story, my final my final goodbye to my mother in Jamaica for how many weeks mom didn't recognize me. The day I was returning, she told my son she did not come to say goodbye. The pictures are online that I took. If it was now, I'd be more thinking, I didn't cry. No, I didn't cry, but I knew that would be my final goodbye. Like how I was the last one to see my father alive and first one to find him dead. So I never at any stage of my life 
sit down and believe I can deal with whatever was happening to me. I always seek help like I do whenever. So I'm going to show you some documents that's going to verify my story. That Jonah Sullivan is a pedophile working under the mastermind of a Richard Harty. The Richard Harty who called my phone on the 27th of September 2021. He panicked. So I recorded him. The little bastard is out there. And the Mary Mitchison and Susan Davis and Tonya Cotia. All of them can. So here it is. I'm not going to read it. I've read it in other whatever. So there it is. Yeah. A voice of a child research that I done for um, Jonah Sullivan. And it was only after I was threatened by Richard Harty that I went to search out Richard Harty and found a men in child care and a voice of a child. I done the research. I'm not going to read everything. I'm not chucking this one out because it's, it's going to come in handy for another podcast. But I'm slowly getting rid of the whatever. Right. So you want to know the name of a prolific pedophile? Go and find him. His name is Neil King. Bully boy, Neil King. Yeah? 8 October 2010. Yours sincerely, Neil King. Head of Human Resources. Yeah? So I'm just going to chop these out now. I only know he was no longer with, with Lee. He didn't turn up at the employment tribunal. So now I'm getting rid of the clutter. Digitalize Neil King. Whenever you find a Neil King, he's a pedophile. He was part of um, Leaf Enterward. So, all right, this is the one when I decided 2011. And if you look up there, you will see my son when I made the thingy for him. Yeah. Over there. So I made them into whatever. Yeah. Because a lot of things happened in 2011. So 25th of November, 2011. Yeah, and that's when I decided, you know what, I can't deal with any more of this. I had a meltdown. Yeah, so I'm going to read that. And can you see my address is correct until they, after they send me invitation to disciplinary. Dear Mervely, lead early years practitioner. Thank you very much for attending our offices on the 21st of November 2011. We were very pleased to see you at the interview, but I regret that I must write on behalf of Karen Walker. Take note of that name, Karen Walker. Mona Majid and Glennis Mates to advise that we have decided not to offer you an appointment. This, this decision was reached with difficulty and after serious consideration. Our commitment to good practice means that we aim to recruit staff with the very best skills and experience. Although you had demonstrated competence and expertise in some areas, unfortunately, there were also some areas where, although it is very possible, that you have the abilities we are seeking, you are unable to demonstrate these to the panel at this time. I am very sorry to disappoint you on this occasion, but hope you will not be deterred from applying for other vacancies that may arise in the future. Thank you for your interest in London Early Years Foundation. Best wishes, 
with best wishes, yours sincerely. Yes, men, Coram Bocos, HR manager. I'm going to chop this out now. Time to let this go by saying, when Tanya Silva eventually got the role of deputy manager, Tanya says to me, Marvely, I could not even answer one question. By this time, but they didn't have anybody and they gave it up. Who was I at Leaf? Went to Leaf with a foundation degree in early years from the Open University, doing all their work. Well, I'm chucking this out now. Time to chuck this crap away. Yeah? But that's why Richard Harty is going to get it. And let me tell you something about Karen Walker before I go. And I'll show you the calm. Yeah, I'm chucking these out. Time for to let go. Yeah? So this is the Karen Walker they're talking about. Yeah? Karen Walker wrote, came to leave, helped to write books, doing training. She used some of my activity planning forms. Yeah? And by 2013, when Leaf, when Juna Sullivan got her MBE, Juna Sullivan started the calling of women in leadership. So Karen Walker was the first to go on the spot resignation. When I met her and she gave me this card, she told me the incident with Neil King. She wanted me to come on board, but I was so taken up with whatever was happening to me. I couldn't take up her offer. So that's the current offer. I've been in contact with people. So now, Leaf is going to get it. Jonas Sullivan and Richard Harty, prolific. Yeah? Am I tying it up yet? A voice of a child research. Men in child care. Where is Connor Bart get? David Stevens is in um, uh, um, Scotland promoting men in child care. Is Oshana still with the company? Allegations used to destroy him. Right. So let's move on. These little things, I'm not chucking them out because they're going to be used for my books or whatever, whatever. That crap can go. March 27, 2012. I'm just going to read because this needs whatever. Yeah? That's 2011, what I just wrote. And now 2012, I wrote this. Safeguarding vulnerability matrix. Yeah? So this is why we need to safeguard so that POPSI can rest assured that there is a Mervilly Myers out there who is batting for the people still working in modern day slavery and have on their conscience that they know that leaf abuse children. So when I see a Sarah Allen celebrating her daughter's birthday and the little girl who was my key child is beside her mother they should come out now and pay attention and talk what they know when her daughter was fitting at bird in the bush what happened her daughter could have died there come on sarah allen and you guys there Covering over your eyes and pretending as if you don't know who, who is Marvely Myers. Come on. That's why the other day I saw somebody calling uh, whatever is Sumalin and his wife. And they were like, all I did was like, they wanted to have a conversation. All I did is greet them and walk on my merry way. Because they all know what's happening. Because of the recent outbreak of chicken pox in the nursery i would suggest we suspend the visits to penfold street until things are back to normality 
it is important that the team is aware of safeguarding issues that may impact on the well-being and welfare of both the young children in our care and the elderly residents living at Penfold Street. I started projects. So I'm going to keep this as part of whatever. Yeah? Thanks. So this, this is what Julie wrote. She's a liar. But I'm not going to take away from the fact that she only empowers me because I was doing her work. Otherwise, and she was good in certain ways. Whenever I done anything good, she would pass it on to Juno Sullivan and whatever. But they're all programmed a certain way because that's their survival. Good idea. I popped in and spoke to them. Julie. I'm not going to swear. I'm going to cut out this way. And that's a lie. She did not. Yeah? So the rest of thing in, doesn't really concern. This is saying what is in the fridge for tea and whatever. So I wrote down at the at 205. I called and I have the number here. The number Katie got from the internet for Penfold Street. I was directed to call another number, but I could not hear this clearly. Katie tried the number again, but no one was answering. Thanks, Mervyn. This is how I document and keep record. That's why that little bastard, pedophile Richard Hart, who panicked and called me, got recorded. Yeah? Nothing stays in this head. And if I wasn't recording, where would I get this now to be part of my argument? We are going to stop this. Right. Can you see what this is? This is the Juna Sullivan. As soon as she was given her MBE, as I said, she started calling. She started with the strong women. First, it was Karen Walker. Then it was Derbla. Derbla went back to Ireland. She's from Ireland. Yeah? what they did to me at kings they make sure they get the black people to make allegations against me so i can't say racism so when i see some of them out there funky ultra joyce green bailey and all of them yeah the only one who never who done me a little report is sammy samira all the rest of them they don't know nothing that's why they are in hiding yeah they buy them out sharon clark and all of them they buy them out. That's what they do. It's good to be a writer and also a holder as long as you're managing it. So this is the Juno Sullivan who wants to be remembered as a disruptive influence. Go read her thingy. Go read her blog. How did I get to be on YouTube? On uh, LinkedIn? She sent memo for staff to join social media to contribute to her blog. I rise up to becoming an influencer on LinkedIn. What happened to my account? Teeth in June at Sullivan. I'm not chucking this away. I need it too. You little pervert. I don't know what any man do you from Ireland where you, you come down here from Ireland with your, 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 your two daughters. Some man must have done you something. I have two children too. Before I came from um, Jamaica, two different fathers. Yeah, but whatever any man done me, I am able to deal with it. And that's why I'm dealing with the rejection and whatever. Yeah, Juno Sullivan is a former mental health nurse. Yeah, so I'm not chucking out everything. Right, so see that? That has to do with. It says emotional well-being. That has to do with the um, Penfold Street um, that I wrote about making sure when the outbreak of, of, of whatever. This would have to do with the fact that I um, diagnosed my mom dementia and certain things. When I go there, certain of the whatever was happening there was impacting on me. So I asked not to go. Yeah? 
So here it is. So I'm not chucking out these because I might have other copies, but to be sure, I'm saving certain things. We must stop this now. Yeah, this is part of my homemade book that Jonah Sullivan took to develop as teaching and learning tool. When Sky News came, I have the little teeth in bitch sat in front of my homemade books. I took the picture. Yeah? Here's another example of my intellectual property. So the photographer came. It had to do with activities at Penfold Street. For some reason, they could, the nurse they couldn't go over there. Of course, safeguarding. So I had to initiate. Yeah, so because it was to do with gardening, I got the resources. And we were photographed, professional photographers. Can you see down here? When it was posted, I'm not in the picture. So who was supervising the children? Can you see the story that's been told? That the children were not being supervised. Isn't that what this picture tells you? Now, they wanted the caring, qualified, and experienced staff. Now, Mervyn is back in there. I couldn't access these pictures after a time online. So that's why I'm uh, when I'm ready, Google mess me about. I have plaster for sore foot. Yeah, I have plaster for pedophiles. Yeah, more of my intellectual property. So I'll just read the headline and tell you what it says. No one promoting their pornography is not welcome on my platform. Make sure you understand that. Because if me start cost, not even flying or blow you much more junk on a pitch near you. So it was Michelle and it crossed out to Mervilly. Michelle is another Jamaican, Michelle Hofong. So she came to Luton Street as a trainee, whatever she was doing at college. I mentored her. And by the time I leave Luton Street, now Michelle was doing each one, teach one. So basically, me, Michelle was over me. Michelle and Sunita. God, you know, see them. That's why each other that you are getting prick pull. We are gathering thoughts from those from the whole organization on what they like about working at LEAF, all contributions will feed into the LEAF DNA project and help shape our refresh vision and values for the whole organization. Please share your thoughts. What words would describe your whole ideal workplace? How might people act, talk, and behave? That's what I wrote. I don't know, do one thing, I, 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 hold, I write whole book. A word can turn into a A word can turn into a sentence, a sentence into a paragraph, blah, 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 blah. You understand what I'm saying? So here is the next bit. So I'm keeping these because they're going to be form part of whatever. I think I have them on whatever, but then uh, some of my things got all how many years worth of work on a, a stick. So I'm hoping it can be restored. We are, uh, what are the values of your ideal nursery? How would children, parents describe your nursery and its staff to others? So I'm keeping this. Yeah? So this is my last day at Luton Street. Yeah? I'm going to chop these out because, as I said, a lot of things now are becoming clutter. And if I don't manage them, they can trigger me. Yeah, something my introduction to bird in the bush. 
So I was treated basically. I am coming there. Was that where later I got the long service award and I was treated basically. I can check this out now. Yeah. As I said, I'm getting rid of the platter. So this is when, I'm not going to chuck this away. This is when Jonah Sullivan came to bird in the bush to trip me, trap me up, to breach the social media policy and procedure. But the little cunt didn't know what, what she was doing. Yeah? And I'll give you a, a brief whatever. I took pictures. And in my rage, that's the thing is sometimes I act so fast and regret it later. When I realized that what Chef Gloria was telling me about Jonah Sullivan was, that's, that's part of the trigger, that somebody could behave so in, inappropriately after what I done for Jonah Sullivan. Yeah? So Jonah Sullivan have my intellectual property out there. See how I'm sweating? It's hot. But my husband need the heating. Yeah? So let me tell you now. I just destroyed everything, deleted everything. I'm getting in as much as I can today because I need to start making sure that I monitor and do my cooking so I can eat and everything. Yeah, so I'm just going to give you this. I'm not chucking this away yet. Don't know if I have another copy. So I'm just going to read the first paragraph. Another relevant bit. I visited the nursery today with one of the leaf trustees, Althea Sow. For those who have never visited the nursery, the outside has not got what estate agent described as curb appeal, but the inside is fantastic. Days after this, her visit, another one came. Another trustee. I was like there at the time since just saying, oh my word, something great must be happening at Bird in the Bush. Only to be informed that it was all about me. It was a trap. So this is the relevant bit that you need to know about. I then discovered... A root vegetable, unfamiliar to us, unfamiliar to the little idiot, Jonah Sullivan. Yeah? To us who? So maybe she and the, the trustee. But anybody local would know what it is. Yeah? So where is your knowledge of the EYFS? I, I was publishing the nurse world. Yeah? Some of the parents didn't even know where potato came from. I had to teach the children and teach them. But it was a, a, a good experience. I then discovered a, a root vegetable unfamiliar to us and discovered from Mervely that it was cassava. She and Sao explained all about cassava and Mervely promised a piece for the bulletin explaining what to do with cassava. What does that tell you? That I am responsible for writing and doing whatever, whatever. I was. So you see how they are media? Yeah, I'm just documenting these. Right. So this is another piece of paper. Yeah. Dillis Ipton, another idiot. She was being discriminated against. I felt sorry for her. She was often more uh, out than in. Elderly woman. Notes of meeting with Mervyly Myers. Yeah? I'm not going to read it. Or maybe I should read this to see, to let you see the enormity of the stupidity of these people. Notes of meeting with Mervyn Lee Myers. Met with Mervyn Lee Myers. Re-medical situation. 
What medical situation you're talking about, silly woman? DE said that she had concerns about Mervilly's medical situation. Now, what medical situation is the bitch talking about? As MM had mentioned it in connection in several conversations. With who? That bitch? Lying cunt? When we had discussed things recently, me and she, I know me and she, that motherfucker. DE explained that this meeting was not anything to do with the disciplinary investigation that MM was undergoing. DE explained that we had a duty of care towards MM and that the purpose of the meeting was to examine what support MM might need in connection with her duties. Yeah? Did I read the, 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 the three reviews? What, especially what Joy T. Bahaj was, a.k.a. Sharma said? Listen. Yeah? So that's why I keep these. M.M. explained that she had started with leave in 2000, 2009. Why do I need to explain to this stupid con that I start any of this? Why do that? did I need to explain anything of that nature? They're supposed to have records, isn't it? So why would I need... I'm not even going to read this fucking crap anyway, but I'll keep it. Yeah? Because this is trigger for me. Yeah? So this is what the, the idiot write. Yeah? How can anybody? Is it any wonder that Richard Harty said he done investigation? Can that pedophile boy publish the investigation, please? Yeah? Another one. From the same old idiot, Dilly Sifton. 29th of May, 2015. Yeah? Hi, Mervilly. It was good to meet with you and agree your starting date for New Cross Nursery and the arrangements for working there. I will have the notes of the meeting for you on Monday or Tuesday. I'm not even going to read it. It's just, yeah? So I'm not chucking this out yet. Now, over on this side, it says 7th of June, 2015. Please find attachment you requested. Hope this is some, of some help in clarifying the matter. Kind regards, Mervilly um, Nimhard Myers. Yeah? And then on the 2nd of June, yeah, I send in grievance. That's how bold I am. When, when I started, this was what I used to wear to central office whenever they call me. So I have something over. I just don't wear it. And make sure it's showing. So I have pictures here, whatever. Me, you know them face. Yeah? So I wrote grievances. One of them was how many pages, and one of them was eight pages, and one of them must be whatever. And I had to condense the grievance in one page. Just telling you how they are. Yeah? Dear Mervilly, we have received your eight-page grievance. Yeah? One of them is eight page. See? Let me read this. Against reasonable adjustments and the 37-page grievance against bird in the bush. You see? One is eight page and one is 37 page. I have to condense them to one page each. You will know that in section 3.2, the process requires employees to highlight the remedy action they are seeking to resolve the grievance. So I ain't going to read anymore just to tell you. That's why that bastard pedophile Richard Harty comes and he done investigation. Bring your investigation forward, pedophile Richard Harty. Yeah? So this was when I meet. Professors Chris Pascal and Tony Bertram. I can chuck these out now. Yeah? So this is part of my whatever. 
So I had to do whatever. But no, I'm not going to chuck this out. I'm going to keep this bit. Because this is where I, I, I photocopied mini. And Professor Chris Pascal. So I'll keep this. So as I said, I'm decluttering. Time to declutter. I'm trying to put things in order of dates. Yeah? 29 September. It's telling me they have re received my letter of resignation. Neil King was still there, the pedophile boy. So I don't know when he left. I only realized at the employment tribunal that he'd resigned. Why did he resign? Another pedophile bite the dust. Ooh, ooh. Another pedophile bite the dust. Ooh, ooh. Another one gone. Another one gone. Neil O'Sullivan, the three. Neil, 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 King, the pedophile bite the dust. Ooh, ooh. Another pedophile bite the dust. Another pedophile bite the dust. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A pedophile gone. A pedophile gone. Pedophile bite the dust. Yeah? See, you think me do? I got me right to the dirty bo idiot boy. Me not enjoy where yet. For maybe he gone from the, the stick. I mean, I get no answer if me I go here, but then can't see him. Yeah? Me not make fun with no dirty pedophile boy. So me write the pedophile boy. 10th of November. Me write the pedophile boy. See, see. The counselor said, what? I said, all I do is write. Right. Maybe me never had right. That's why you see me have so much. Two mobile phones. One all war right. Camera. Me all have camera. I don't even know how to use So I just put it on the now. I don't make it hot up my head. Yeah? This is to the Alison, whatever. As far as she did write him to come. So I don't dash where them are yet. So I don't know if I still have them past it. Yeah, and this is for the DBS because me, I go start a petition. I am going to start a petition with Popsy for the DBS to be investigated for putting children at risk and for not acting on concerns like when my email was used fraudulently for online DBS application after they refused me from doing it and yet telling me to bring the one from resources for autism so this is the martin bunch who first contacted me from bates wells and brathwaite i wrote him a letter i don't make fun to write i write to prime minister david cameron got a response and was contacted by department for education so that's how i went to do my lsa training i then again i write to prime minister theresa may open letter i can write i can write to god and i can write to satan my brother never went to high school never go further than primary school and he spent a couple of days at home school and then go back and miss well Everybody think he was um, high school educated. I used to write for him. He was being a correspondent. He was in the paper getting um, gears from German embassy and all. But I don't know where those things he done. I used to write to Bernie Grant on his behalf. Can you imagine if I had um, the thingy now that I wrote? How much it would value being paid one of ITV news for winner of 70. Can you imagine? Every little thing is value. Can you imagine if I have those to show now? That's why when this little idiot boy I come tell me nobody not interested in my story. 
and him re, he would come and break stand and come give me in card for hand out. I handed them out, of course. What then take me for? Yeah? Handwritten DBS. So I'm going to go back to 2004 when I was working at King's and had to contact DBS or CRB about Glendaline Abawaji. Another black person. She's from the West Indies, married to an African. So that's why I can call Funky Osho and all of them. Because they targeted me on behalf of whatever. Black and white. Helen, whatever her name is. I'm going to track them down. They think they escaped. Yeah? So this is the thing. I was endorsed on LinkedIn by Professor Chris Pascal and Tony Bertram. Yeah? So now, let me top it up with some, some, some pretty. No, no, pretty. As I said, I need to get as much in as possible. Yeah? So, all right, let me do some more now. I'm not chucking that out. Yeah? Who do you see here? Her name is Louise Cooper. Can you spot me? That's me. And that sow, the sow that was mentioned in Juno Sullivan's letter about cassava. Yeah. I was not informed about the visit. So basically, my data was used in breach of my rights of whether I wanted to be in this article. And the fact that this woman was a member of the panel, disciplinary panel, who disrupted their disciplinary, saying they did not get a copy of the letter from Dr. Laura Crawford. It's another page. Know what happened? I saw this particular person's name in the daily sunday express the financial diet side and when i started making inquiries disappeared is it any wonder whenever i contacted the daily express or any media for support i don't get support they're all in there in the mix these are the people in charge same like how um, samantha jones was given a reference by judge freya to be on the Gwenfell tour Inquiry panel. This woman who made up a contagious disease. Yeah? That's me. So all of them will be tracked. Is she another pedophile? Yes, possibly Louise Cooper is a pedophile. So this is what the this is some of the things that's in this article. Louise Cooper explores the varied challenge growth has presented for the London Early Years Foundation and how these have been overcome. In one of the review, in one of the reviews, the young lady, 21 year old, said, "No, that leave has stopped opening new nurseries and making money and blah 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 to that effect." You can go and read it for yourself. Challenge one, lead times. Challenge two, culture. Challenge three, finding high quality staff. Challenge four, nurturing all our nurseries. Challenge five, financing growth. And this is the comment. Of Lynn Kelly, another pedophile, possibly, who God has put down her man that if she not turn him, he can't turn. My husband is 98. Yeah? You see, the wonders of God, 
I don't want nobody tell me no more about no Christian God. And I don't do fucking amen on Facebook. Those are for the hypocrites. And if you if they want, I'll call their names. Working for leave has changed my life personally and professionally. And it is now a real pleasure to come to work. Yeah? Yeah, man, all right. Eat yours when I come later. May I do this? Hello, six o'clock yet, Papa. All right, may I go dry? These are uh, measures that my husband used. I think he feels if the curtain is down, we are safe. Can you imagine? His son used to call him Superman. And this man is so fearful. 98 years old. Almost 99. And this is what my husband has endured the past on the moon. Yes? So let's continue reading this little bit, what this pedophile in Kelly says. The transformation has had a butterfly effect on staff and the nursery has, has a whole new feel. Ofsted parents and visitors have been so complimentary and comment on how professional, happy, and welcoming the staff team are. I fronted Ofsted, and I told them the outcome before it happened. I was used as reasonable adjustment. Yeah, that was the same year, 2014. Nursery World gave um, leaf chain of the year whilst they were doing what they were doing to me. Yeah. I'm not going to let it go over too much. Yeah. I'm going to end with I'm going to end with this. I think I should end with this. To show you how proactive I have been throughout. Yeah? And I'm going to read it in its entirety. So the world understands why I do what I'm doing. Dealing with the stigma of mental health. Hi, Mr. Jory. I have been following the mental health campaign in the Sunday Express over the past weeks with keen interest. This matter is of grave importance to me because of personal experiences I have encountered throughout my relatively short life when I wrote that. The reasons I am making contact is to congratulate the team on taking up the fight for people who have been faced with mental health issues do not have any forms of sounding board to air our circumstances and situations in dealing with conditions that are considered as taboo once I'm, again i uplift my sister popsy yeah for her strength her courage yeah whenever i'm on facebook i see what she is about her campaign and that's why i say fuck the hypocrites them about amen and everything because some of them can't spell hallelujah. Yeah? Go support Popsy in our campaign. I don't matter. Because I have my whatever. But these are the ladies we are our, our people who have experienced discrimination that must be uplifted so they know whoever they have lost or whoever have suffered is not in vain. Somebody's out there seeing but you go and you get all this Bible thingy. 
and you get all this whatever and whatever and relationship quotes and you take it come down and, and use it as beating whatever for us who have suffered and when i'm talking i'm talking about my own family and friends who have abandoned me you're not escaping taboo is uppercase that means i'm shouting maybe if i share a brief account of my own personal experiences you will understand why i have become a skeptic of all gift wrap packages once again i say fuck all the hypocrites them who are come about that but oh, amen or amen yeah fuck or no From an early age, I was confronted with the tragedy of witnessing my dad's decline, which it lasted for over 10 years. He had Parkinson's disease, along with some other health conditions. Top stoppage of water is another one. I'm unsure that's linked to cancer. My uncle Aretas, I remember attending his funeral, me and Ashton. He had cancer. He was one of the rich Nemhard on TV, have his own church, Sandy Bay, Clarendon. We come from good stock. My grandparents were, um, great grandparents were land barons in Grange. That's my mother's side. However, it was the Parkinson's that caused our family the most concerns as it affected every aspect of the family welfare. I can recall the shakes at the beginning until his total loss of mobility and everything else that is eventually destroyed as a result of the deterioration in his health. As a teenager, I began to question my fate asking why my dad who had lived and served god had to suffer so much and then he come back around again after the death of my mother eh he would make any christian course and challenge god if there is a god but i know there is a god the onus was left on my poor mom to take on the reins of responsibilities that was once, my, was once my dad's, as well as her, her own job as a mother. In the end, my mom was faced with caring for my dad and mom, that's her mother, who died within a month of each other, 1980. I was 20 years old. My son, Valdin Legister, was born on the 22nd of December, 1979. But then I didn't know that the way I was feeling was called sad. All I knew I had these feelings. I don't know. I come tell me you were a hit. Now bring it to me. My granny eventually succumbed to one of her many strokes. But it was not only the strokes alone. After the murder of my uncle. The last time my granny came outside is to put talcum powder on her son i saw that happening with my eyes went back in her house she didn't come back out i confirmed that with my brother balis at the time i was young so certain things hi cuz <laughs> hi cuz i'm here lighting fire my 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 cousin yeah i've i've created my own platform so in time we can do this and extend whatever is happening and thanks for all the support yeah yeah i'm just seeing that you have an input there and send as many as you can over to my platform now we need to do this thing it's called generational wealth and generational health so yes my granny died of a broken heart they murdered her son my brother Ashton was there, Bernard Lads. March Penn Road, my granny did live. My uncle did live. I was in town at the time at Alexander Road at my cousin, Miss Marjorie, when I heard on the news. The same way I heard on the news when they murdered my uncle Dudley at Green Bottom. 
do you see where I'm coming from with all of this? So when me hear all the Andrew, uh, Andrew Wallace that talk fuck about whatever and whatever, me can't take out Andrew Wallace. Imagine my own devastations when I realized my dad's condition was heredity. heredity. And from an early age, I began to get some of the signs and symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Now I'm thinking probably it was psychological. But I've done my research and realized what I have is a typical Parkinson's Hard to diagnose and harder to treat. So I know the triggers. <laughs> to cut a long story short, I immediately have to alter my life. And no, I was prevented from achieving my full potential because of my DNA over which I had no sleep. Therefore, with time, I learned to adapt to my condition and refuse to become a victim and have always been aware of my limitations. However, I recognized I had problems with my family situation and was only able to give it a name, depression, after coming to the UK and decided to take up studies to improve my prospect of securing gainful employment to make a better life for myself. I always joked about the fact that I managed to pick up all the defects from both sides of my family. Now, I have been, I've seen in today's edition about the role expected of workplaces in supporting their employees who have experienced mental health. However, my arguments are totally against sharing your predicament with your employers as this can be used to one's detriment and place a label of deficit mode model that is used to discredit a person when one is at their most vulnerable. Yeah? After the death of my mother, came back, transferred to bird in the bush, got a long service award. What did I pick up? Allegations. Unprofessional, uncaring, uncooperative, Rude, intimidating, confrontational, aggressive, lacking empathy. That's what triggered me. At this point, I'm talking from personal experiences. When I self-referred, because I was concerned about matters affecting my work and for which I needed answers. That was at King's after the death of my brother. Can you see the cycle, the pattern? This was used against me. And in the long run, when I needed the support of my GP, because I told him about my Parkinson's disease, I was given a kick in the teeth. You know what I say? Yeah? I uh, go on holiday and bring drinks and things for that GP. Yeah? They are all worthless because it wasn't his choice. It was the NHS. He couldn't do anything about it. That's why sometimes I have to understand. On a personal level, Person can't do anything. Look at what's happening on Facebook. Lavina Brown is a classic example. Marty Bernard is another example. My own family, they know themselves. My son. That bastard should have been aborted. This caused so much havoc in my life that at one difficult poor period, I thought I have, would have been swept overboard by the tide of upheavals and emotional baggage I was left to deal with. My unfair treatment further exacerbated my depression that I found it hard coping with life. Even though I had swallowed my bitter medicine and moved on, I am reminded daily of these unpleasant events in my life because they keep reoccurring at work. I have been placed on a system where I am being networked against so I cannot break the mold and move on to make matters worse. And I'm now being penalized in my job for doing the work I'm paid for. And they try to get information about people so that they can use it against them. I can recall when I first came to the UK, a friend told me that in the UK, never tell others the truth as they can't deal with truths, only lies. 
Her name is Sharon Stevens. Stevenson. And I'm beginning to see the reality only after too late to my detriment. My life has been turned upside down because of who I am as well as my knowledge, values, and beliefs. And I feel trapped without seeing a way out of my dilemma. And then when I tell when I say, my brother, you know what? Leave him. I'm sorry for him. I, I, I'm still responsible for him from the day my father took him out of the room and handed him to me. And that's why I tell the Amley mother dear. I said, don't you dare. Don't you dare ever say that again. Although I will continue following your campaign, I can't help but say I will continue to hold my opinion, opinions and keep them to myself. Find solutions to my depression without getting my employers involved. Anything you say can come back to haunt you at a later date when you least expect it. Even though I have no one to share my concerns with, I would prefer die than involve people at work. This is because when concerns are raised, they are shoved under the carpets. Go read Joy T. Sharma's um, review. Under the carpets by inexperienced managers. Go read Joy T. Sharma's review. Who lack knowledge, values, and beliefs to deal with these, those concerns. For and foremost, us older employees are treated with disrespect whilst facing all kinds of discrimination over which we cannot do anything for fear of being labelled. What did I say? The label. Yeah? History repeating itself. It's already written down there. It was written down there by the prophets. It was written down there by Mervyn Lee Myers. Since I do not have a voice and have no one to talk to, I will be brave and stop myself from becoming a victim by finding my own remedies. The one good thing about this is I'm a very resilient person and refuse to give up without a fight. But I won't make the same mistake again by challenging social injustice and inequality. Well, I did. And I'm paying the price, but I'm still here. Lost all the teeth, lost all the body, lost all the whatever. But I'm still here. Fight for justice. And I'm on the ball for my sister, Popsy, a.k.a. Angela Louise and Frankie. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but dot, dot, dot. Thanks for being my sounding board, as it means so much to me, especially when I'm at a low ebb in my life, trying to stay in the UK, coping with the declining mums. That's why I was trying to be on platform and then setting up things for me and whatever, and I'm just setting myself there. Yeah? So I'm getting rid of what I need to get rid of. So today is whole day I'm doing this. So when I finish this one, I'm going to get some food to eat. I've only eaten once for morning. And then it's on back onto the job. Yeah, this is what I'm doing. This is my job now. Digitalizing what I have here. I'm not making it up.
Better days are coming by and by when we reach the city in the sky sorrow will be over and joy will come at last better days are coming must stop man this must stop this must stop now did i just do that i don't even know what i'm doing Right, let me focus on this first and then I can close down. Yeah, it's my job now. Did I just do that? I think I've done it already. All right, let's get a let's let's get a move on. So that's LinkedIn. I don't have Facebook on here. I don't want Facebook on my new mean machine. It's for business. Right, let's get one out of the way. I think I it's better. I'll be more productive that way. If I do one instead of trying to get do three at the same time.
Did I just do clothes and skirt? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to finish this. Thanks everybody. I'm moving on. Need to move on. Are we living in cloud cuckoo land and allowing pedophiles to endanger the future generation? So then um, the career criminals will impose emotional regulation treatment to cover whatever that leaves and the University of East London is engaged in are we is that what we're doing I've invested in my platforms to help others get a voice yeah and my data will show from whence I came. My data will show that I am the credible witness. Unlike the career criminals at the judiciary of England and Wales and the criminal justice system and the crown prosecution service did i just do this i don't know yeah come on people it happened to victoria climbie it happened to baby peter the dunblane school girls yeah it happened to all the people more recently dillian atkins where the police have to issue apologies after that murderer was sent to jail go and check go and check my record mopak what mopak did after those criminals came here to murder me to say i committed suicide the world will know fucking stupid
I'm going to finish this. I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to come back. Today is a day's work I'm doing.